to the real-time simulated open field environment here in the anechoic chamber of the Technical University of Munich. We are in the virtual underground station scene, a scene that we measured, modeled and also verified after a real underground station down the road from us. As you notice from my virtual cardboard getter blaster, we can simulate source directionality and position on this underground station in real time. And that also includes my voice, which is being picked up in real time and reverberated according to the position that I have instantaneously on this scene. You're listening through the ears of our Aloysius Acousticus artificial head. So let's go for a walk. Why do we do this effort? In our experiments with moving subjects, we noticed that speech intelligibility is being reduced while they turn their head. And that puzzled us. So we simulated the same ear signals according to their individual trajectories. And we found that speech intelligibility was unchanged. And that tells us that their movement pattern and attention to the source did not affect it. It was more like really the ear signals. The train has just arrived. So let's take it down to the pub. Empty pubs have been with us in the past years. In the future, we want to fill them with virtual communication partners, with avatars, so that we can develop communication experiments in a controlled fashion in the laboratory to study the impact of gestures, motion and speech reading cues on communication. I'm looking forward to welcoming you in the lab for a virtual beer. Bye bye.